My name's Andy Mosier. I'm part of the sales staff here at Becker Windmills. There are a lot of different benefits to an aeration system. It doesn't do only one thing. Uh, it does uh, aerate the water, obviously. But um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, we're trying to circulate the water in the pond. For instance, if you put a bottom diffuser in your pond, um, which is uh, the typical installation um, that we do, either a windmill or electric, what we're doing is we're pumping air, atmospheric air, to a bottom diffuser, and those bubbles will go toward the surface. Now, there's some actual diff diffusion of, of the oxygen into the water at that point, but what really is going on is you're actually pulling and pushing the cold water that's trapped at the bottom of your pond to the surface. As it's getting pushed toward the surface, it's being aerated, but also what's happening is ty um, tiny phytoplankton algae is actually, uh, through photosynthesis, adding additional oxygen to the water that was trapped at the bottom of your pond that was oxygen deficient. So you're moving that cold, uh, oxygen depleted water to the surface where it can be oxygenated. Okay, there's more than one benefit to a, an aeration system adding to your pond, but the biggest thing is that anybody knows and everybody's ever swam in a farm pond in the summertime, July, August, the surface of the water in the pond is usually very, very hot. So what happens is you get a stratification of layers in your pond. You get your hot, highly oxygenated water on the surface, and you get your cold, deoxygenated water at the bottom. So what we want to do is we want to add oxygen to the bottom of the pond also. And we do that by adding a bottom diffuser and um, pumping oxygen or air down to that diffuser and letting it rise to the surface, circulating the water in the pond. Another thing an aeration system can provide a person is the, the fact that an aeration system, a bottom diffuser aeration system, can help prevent fish kills in your pond. You know, people spend a lot of money stocking their ponds and uh, getting a good population of fish in their pond. And we don't want all those fish, obviously, to die. So what we, what we want to do is we want to, again, we want to uh, eliminate what we call the thermocline in the pond. And by creating a current in the pond, putting a diffuser at the bottom of the pond, creating uh, the, the flow of water in a circular motion of like a vortex, we're, we're circulating the water. So if you had highly oxygenated water on the surface, but no oxygen at the bottom, all that water is getting stirred together so that your dissolved oxygen contact overall drops dramatically and can kill your fish within hours. Hi, I'm Billy Bailey. I am part of the Becker family business here at Becker Products and Services. I ask them how large their pond is, how deep their pond is, you know, if they have fish, is it recreational, you know, stuff like that. This is an American-made product where we assemble, manufacture here in Ohio. If you want us to assemble it for you, we could build it here, take it out to your site, we can install it for you. A lot of times, you know, if they're farther away, that they can tell me the size and I can tell them they will aerate, you know, acre and a half, possibly two acres, if it's shaped like a bowl or an oval. And we do offer, you know, estimates where they're local around here, where we can drive out there and take a look at their pond. If they don't get a lot of wind, uh, they may want to go for electric. A lot of times people will go for the windmill from the nostalgic look, and also they start turning at four mile an hour winds to where, you know, a windmill is just pretty much maintenance free. We have a five year warranty on the, manu or on the compressor. This is including the bearings and the adjustable push rod, you know, that kind of stuff. Yes, they, um, gradual winds, they'll start turning out of the wind, about 30 mile an hour winds. Um, they can take on a straight line wind if it's properly mounted in the ground. And they come with four stakes that come with the windmill. And also, um, if your ground conditions are just a little questionable, you may want to do some additional anchoring. We use, uh, four foot ground stakes that come with the windmill. Um, if your ground is questionable, you may want to do a concrete pad 
or a screw in anchor stake with some guidelines on the inside. The process for getting a windmill is um, to be installed. We look to be like in a, within a few weeks. Um, to order one through the phone, we try to get it out that same week. Our customers are um, your hobby farmers, your um, country people who have you know, the recreational pond, who like to fish. Even farmers, we've sold them to. You know, their cows want, you know, fresher water to drink. Um, we've actually, I've actually sold some for sewage treatments. Um, you know, animals, you know, the sewage waste, they will put a diffuser in there to create, you know, get aerating in there in the sewage part. And we also sell them as ornamental. You know, if you just want the look of a windmill. This is just part of the assembly process. Uh, we assemble all the compressors so that uh, the customers don't have to mess with that. And then we test each one before it's sent out to make sure we have the correct air pressure, uh, and the right amount of air coming out. Uh, you just want to make sure everything's just right on these compressors. So we assemble that and it comes in one finished piece and then our customers can assemble their own tower and then just simply set the windmill head on top and, and stand it up. Or we can provide that service for you. Yeah, each one of these wind uh, compressors is tested before we ship them out. Uh, we wanna make sure we've got the right amount of air pressure going out, that everything is tight and, and uh, working properly. Okay, the windmills are are packaged in a way that it's it's simple to put together whether we're doing it for you or whether you want to do it yourself. Uh, each box is coordinated with different sections of the tower. We have the 8 foot, 12 foot, and 16 foot and 20 foot or even a 24 foot section and we recommend that you only open the box uh, according to the, tower, the section of the tower that you're working on and it just eliminates confusion. We have some uh, very detailed instructions. It's, it's really not a hard job to put these together yourself, but we will go out uh, in a 250 mile radius of our shop here and uh, we'll do the complete job for you, setting it up, uh, putting it together, uh, installing the uh, diffusers in your pond. Pond owners, you, you're aware of that your, your pond on your property holds a, a, a specific value and um, a pond like, like anything else is uh, it's, it's a maintenance. So it's just like your yard, your landscaping, your pond also needs regular maintenance. By adding a diffuser Adding this uh, aeration system to your pond is going to improve your water quality and it's going to give the homeowner, the pond owner, the ability to manage the aquatic weeds in his pond uh, more easily. Therefore increasing the, the pond's value, the aesthetic um, value of the property in its entirety. So now um, you've got a choice. You can, um, you can aerate, aerate your pond in two different ways. You can either install an electric aeration unit or you can go with a windmill aeration unit. Now, there's actually there's benefits to each and every one in, in certain situations. For instance, if you have a pond that has no electric service to it, you need 110 electric um, to hook the electric aeration unit up. Now, electric aeration units will power more diffusers than a windmill on average. So if you have a large pond that has electric hookup, then you would obviously probably go with an electric unit. However, if you have a pond that's in a very remote setting, or you have a pond in a farm setting that you would like the aesthetic value of a windmill, well there, you know, then you would consider the fact of having a, a windmill powered aeration unit. So you can see how um, that there can be differences in ponds and therefore those differences will de depict on what aeration system that you would desire. If it's a very large pond, one thing you need to consider that for every quarter to half acre surface area of water, you want to have a diffuser unit. So if you have a two acre pond, you definitely want to go with an electric aeration unit versus a windmill. So the next step for pond owners is to contact Becker Windmills 
Um, you can call us on the phone at one 905 3595 or uh, visit us simply at www.beckerwindmills.com.